The United Nations says this is just one of the places where decades of devastating environmental damage and pollution has been caused by the oil company Shell. It's Agoni, in the heart of Nigeria's vast oil-producing region, filmed by our crew in June last year. The UN report released last week says it will cost $1 billion and 30 years to clean up the mess. And put them but local leaders the say the report, the which cost $10 million and four oil, years to produce, is a waste of money as it just repeats what they've been complaining about for 30 years. I feel this is quite outrageous. I think it is inhuman and I am completely disappointed even by the reaction of the Nigerian government to say we are going to study the report and come out with something when they are saying people are dying by the day. I think what the least the Nigerian government ought to have done the next morning after the report is to, is to revoke the license of Shell. But there's no chance of the Nigerian government revoking Shell's operating license because of the damage. More than 90% of the government's revenue comes from oil exports giving oil companies like Shell tremendous political leverage. And local people say that even in light of the report, Shell, as it tries to clean up the mess, is still causing more damage and pollution to the area. Take a look at this man-made pool of crude oil. It's supposed to be part of the cleanup operation, but local people tell us it's having the opposite effect because when it starts to rain, the pool rises and flows into the rivers and streams where many people get drinking water from. They also say Shell is covering much of the damaged area with sand, so they call it a cover-up, not a clean-up. The Nigerian government and Shell say they're working on a plan to try and reverse the devastating impact of oil production in this region. But many people feel the damage to the environment will only end when Nigeria's oil does. Ivan Dege, Al Jazeera, Ogoniland, Nigeria.